A lot of these conversations about abortion frustrate me because too often the loudest people are the ones who have never and will never be forced to make that decision for themselves. I have had to make that decision, and while I wouldn't wish the experience on anyone, I am so thankful to have had the choice. This belief that anyone has the authority to make that choice for a woman other than herself is just unethical and cruel. I was seven weeks along when I had an abortion. I called to make the appointment as soon as I could after taking a positive pregnancy test without any hesitation. I never once considered continuing on with the pregnancy, and I have never once regretted my decision. Now, that doesn't mean I took the decision lightly, but I knew that staying pregnant would mean a lifelong connection to the abusive ex I had just gotten away from. It would mean I'd have to figure out how to afford a child on a salary of less than $30,000 a year. I barely had the $600 to pay for the abortion, and the man who was half responsible certainly didn't contribute anything, so there was no way I could give a child the life it deserved. But what was inside of me at seven weeks was not a child. It could have been had I been willing to put my body through nine months of discomfort and pain and all sorts of health risks. If I was willing to navigate the rest of my life co-parenting with a man I wanted nothing to do with, who was already an absent father to at least one kid. But I wasn't willing to do that, and I made the decision that I know was right for me. It was an unpleasant experience during an extremely difficult time in my life. I would love to see a world where as few women have to go through that experience as possible. But that world is not going to come from outlawing abortion. It'll come from better sex education, easier access to birth control, more support for parents, and trusting women to make their own decisions about their own bodies. But addressing those issues would require a lot of work, so it's easier to vilify the women who are forced into making these difficult decisions and leave us to deal with the consequences of that decision all alone. It's so easy to advocate for the unborn because they haven't yet had the chance to become a person with needs and wants and opinions that might not align with your own. But why can't we spend our energy advocating for the children who are already here, struggling to survive in a system that only seems to care about children before they actually exist? Because again, I didn't abort a child. I aborted a clump of cells that may have potentially grown into a child. One who would have been born into a life full of struggle and resentment and dysfunction, who I would have been solely responsible for. But I chose not to put myself or that potential life through all of that unnecessary hardship, and still nearly a decade later, I'm happy with the choice that I made. You may have chosen differently if you were in my shoes, and I respect that, but that is what being pro-choice is all about.